So here's the stock cross member. It's about two and a half inches thick ish, roughly. And we're gonna cut it just a little above the seam. And we'll see how much clearance we save when we're done. Here's our strip of metal here that we're gonna add here. We've tack welded the T-case cradle to the new cross member. We are now done with the high clearance cross member. It is now about two thirds of an inch tall, which is a huge improvement over the stock just two and a half inches tall. Another added benefit of the way that I did it, I've now eliminated the 12 millimeter bolts that previously held it there. So now the smallest bolt involved is the much larger 14 millimeter bolt holding the cradle to the T-case. So the weakest link is a lot stronger now. Again, this is one quarter inch thick metal welded to the stock upper cross member. It's a grand total of three eighths of metal, but also with the added benefit of the arch providing some added support. Part of the reason why I didn't want to trim too extreme is because you see here, it's level with the, uh, the drain plug of the T case. So now if I, if I make a guard for it later, we'll go straight under it. So I, d I didn't quite want it trimmed all the way just because that's, that's not what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for like maximum protection with minimum weight involved. So um, this is my high clearance cross member in all its booger welded glory.